Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be doing a one-year review on the HP Victus. Three things that we'll be talking about today is one, the outer looks and the build quality, two, the warranty services, and three, the thermal performance of this laptop. So stay tuned, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, and I will share to you my review for this laptop and even more valuable knowledge and reviews you will need to know in the future. First of all, we are going to talk about the outer looks and the build quality of the Victus. After about one year of usage on the outer looks, you can see some smudge on the Victus logo here. And for the color of this laptop, it is actually quite prone to fingerprint. Although you may just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth, but some people prefer silver or white laptops such as my Dell 5420, which are less prone to fingerprint. So just a quick tip there, if you are sensitive to fingerprints, you may want to refrain from getting dark colors laptop. Besides that, as for the flimsiness of the laptop which most people dislike, I would say it is barely noticeable if you are using it on the table. However, while I am typing scripts on my lap, I do notice the flimsiness and I would say it will be kind of distracting for most people. The touchpad on this laptop is also very sensitive and does not feel solid. I had my touchpad stuck multiple times due to the hardware and I had to call the technician from HP to come over. Overall, after one year, I still love the outer looks of the laptop but I feel there can be some improvements made on the build quality. Regarding the warranty, I had the technician came along to my location as when I bought the laptop, it comes with the two years on-site warranty. The reason I had team come over was because of my touchpad. It was stuck and it was unusable. Although the technician came and replaced the touchpad, but the issue was still there and the technician had to use a little bit of force to adjust the support that holds the touchpad into a certain angle so that the touchpad doesn't get stuck. Overall, I am satisfied on how quick it takes to arrange a technician to come over, which was about less than one week. However, I am not really happy with the build quality of the touchpad. While reviewing the thermal performance on games as per my previous video here, one thing I missed out was to turn the fan to max on the moment hub. I set it to default previously and I think the fans weren't kicking to max. I received a comment from a subscriber that suggested me to try to turn it on max as he mentioned it will reduce the temperature significantly. So let's try it out now. As you can see on my screen, I have turned the fan to a max and the temperature in Warzone is still too high. It went all the way up to 95 degrees and do take note that all of the setting is still the same as on my previous video and I will say that this laptop with the 3050 it's not suitable for gaming AAA titles, but it works perfectly fine for esports titles such as Paladins. Maybe because the 3050 variant that I have does not have air vents on the side. However, I do heard that in some places, with the higher specs victors, they will have air vents on the side, which I believe this will help improve the temperature. If your budget allows, you may consider take the higher variants of the victors with air vents on the side, as I believe this would help with improving the temperature. Last but not least, after one year, GPU prices has been going down and the newer variant of the Victus is available on the market. So, should you still get the Victus? I would say yes. But do not get the 1650 variant as it is not worth the money. Try to get one that is at least uh, with the 3050 GPU and with the latest CPU being the Ryzen 6000 series and the Intel 12th gen. Take note, make sure it is the 6 core laptop. So if budget is still an issue, feel free to go down to the 5000 series or the Intel 11th gen variant but just do not go for the 1650 variant as it is totally not worth the value. With that being said, that will be it for today's content. Thank you all for watching this video. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And for more review content, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.